beer on tap in our room. Right, so today we're in Manchester. For a very specific reason. That was seamless, that. What did you think of that? Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> This here is the Brewdog Hotel in Manchester. It's a hotel dedicated entirely to beer. How exciting is that? It's so exciting. So exciting. There's no rooms available. That's good news. <laughs> Hello, selfie spot. Charlie doesn't even know I'm filming. Hey. <laughs> He's moving out. I'm just busy tapping this to make sure we can get to our room, which is here. Doors opening. <laughs> so we are staying in the Doghouse Hotel in Manchester tonight and we're really excited to be here. We've had this booked for ages, haven't we? We booked this like months ago, basically as soon as we found out it was opening. Um, even though it's only Manchester, even though we live like an hour away, who doesn't want to stay a night in a beer hotel? The Brewdog Doghouse Hotel. So we're going to give this room a bit of a review. Yep, we're going to show you some of the features of the room. They are beer related. Let's get to it. So first of all, there is a record player in the room, which is awesome. I know it's incredibly hipster, but craft beer is incredibly hipster and a beer hotel is hipster. I don't know what you expected from me. The thing that makes it even more hipster is that all the records down below are all Manchester bands. We've got the Chemical Brothers, Stone Roses, Oasis, Buzzcocks, The Charlatans, New Order, all sorts of local Manchester bands. So I'm gonna put on a record now, or at least I'm gonna fake putting on a record now and then put something else over the top because the record of course will be copyrighted and I can't be asked to deal with that. So on the subject of music, there is a guitar on the wall. <laughs> Beautiful. Will you be playing that later? You know it. One of the things we're most excited about in the room is this little thing we have here. So I've literally not even touched it yet. Here we go. Hey! <laughs> so this is beer on tap in our room. That is five litres of punk IPA. Oh, do you know what? You were pouring that beautifully. I did used to work behind the bar. So did I, but you know, still, it's been a while. Beer on tap in our room. That is incredible. Fresh. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> One of the downsides of the room is the lighting. Look at all this lighting up here. There is no lighting. That's why all these shots are so dark, but it's fine. It's moody in here. It's actually quite nice. If you weren't making a video, it's ideal. Really nice and cool and moody. If you're making a video, you have to come and stand by the window. Everything looks much better with natural daylight. So you decided to pour one for yourself and you poured it perfectly. <laughs> you pour one for me. I really messed that up. What, Sorry. What the? Ah, it's fine. I'm working on it. I don't, you don't need to work on it. It's fine. What? Is that you working on it? Yeah. Go on, let's try this rum beer. It's so good to just pour yourself a bit of fresh beer. I can't wait to do it first thing in the morning. <laughs> just a little one to like get ready for the day. Oh, schnifter. Right, you know what's coming next. I now have to see how comfy this bed is. First of all, look at this, little fortune cookies. We'll open those in a second, but first things first. The bed test. Oh. Yeah, that's good. That is good. 
That is good. Are you a beer dream believer now? Oh, I am a beer dream believer and I can tell you my fortune while I'm here. I can tell you that fortune favours the brave and more importantly, no fortune for you, you know what you did. You know what you did. Enjoy a beer with friends, or even better, have one each. Don't mind if I do. Now the thing that I'm weirdly the most excited about, I don't know if I said I was most excited about the beer in the room, I'm changing that. The thing I'm most excited about is in the bathroom. Now the bathroom is, is it's just a standard bathroom, you know, there's a nice sign here that says free beer, there's a couple of glasses in here. But the really exciting thing is this. This is a shower beer fridge filled with beer. Lots and lots of beer. And there is a hold my beer thing right there. So you can have a shower and drink a beer at the same time. Something that I discovered at uni and is one of the greatest things ever. Right, so I've got an idea and it's really childish, but follow me. Free pick and mix. Free pick and mix. Go on, Charlie. What do I want? Everything. Right, this one says it's a pint of beer. That one there is oh, yeah. a pint of beer. They're like mini Guinnesses. Go on, get some. Right, so part of this package includes a beer tasting session, which we're gonna go to shortly. But before then, Charlie is about to shower and she is not only currently rocking the Brewdog Row, but she'll be the first person to have a beer in the shower. So uh, I wonder what she's gonna go for. How's the shower beer? It's great. Good. Whilst Charlie's showering, the other thing to mention about this hotel is that it's completely carbon negative. So I think on the outside of the building, all those plants that you saw when we arrived, I think there's 25,000 plants there and everything in the room is like refillable or reusable or you're encouraged to like make sure that you don't overuse things. So for example, the towels, if you reuse your towel, you can get a free beer down at the bar. So not only can you get steadily pissed, but you can actually feel quite good about that fact. So one of the big problems of the room, I would say, is that it is incredibly dangerous. Like when we arrived, we got a greeting drink. We did. There is beer on tap in the room. We have both had a shower and are now finishing our shower beers. And we're about to go downstairs and have a tasting session. And then we're going to have dinner where we get an additional flight of beer. Four beers to taste there. Yeah, with dinner. Beer with dinner. Should we go check out the roof terrace? We should check out the roof terrace. This is a really nice rooftop bar. So basically, there's a rooftop bar here which has its own taco kitchen which you can drink at. We've just come out here to just look at it, but yeah, it's really cool. Also, the weather's pretty good for Manchester. Usually it looks like it wants to piss it down, but not today. It's pretty good. You're not even in the shot, Charlie. Come on, come in, come in, come in, come in. Lean, 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 lean. So unprofessional. Oh, right. So after Charlie and I went to the rooftop bar, we went down for our beer tasting session and we ended up trying four different beers and getting another complimentary beer. Here we go, look at that. <laughs> and after that, we ended up having our meal, which came with another flight of beers, which was another four beers. And we spent the evening just talking to lots of different people and socialising, so yeah, it's been a bit of a boozy affair. How are you feeling? I'm good. What else would you expect from a beer hotel, though, <coughs> other oh, than a boozy affair? It is a boozy affair. So on that note, we're going to call it a night, 
and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. But it's so far, impressions are very good here. So much beer. So, so, so much beer. Oh, but we get brunch included. So, I'm gonna pull myself together and we're gonna have some brunch. How are you feeling this morning? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah? You feeling mm. nice and fresh? I'm excited for brunch. There's a yoga mat here. If you wanted to do some yoga. No, I'm good. So now seems as good a time as any to mention that we are staying here on the top dog package so you pay for the room and then you can add a package on top of that which is where the beer comes from the beer in the shower comes from we had the taster last night we had dinner last night mm -hmm. the flight of beers that came with dinner and now we have brunch which is what we're going down to now but it should be said that it is quite pricey like don't get me wrong you can drink your way through all of that and that is very much what we did last night and we're gonna maybe have a few more beers in the room today but it is quite quite it's, pricey it's pricey but i think it's probably priced fairly for what you get they could not give us enough free beers no like they were they were like whatever you want all the time like it was good yeah we got a free beer when we arrived we got a free beer when we started the the and it's not just school. like it's not just punk ipa that you're getting for free it's like oh no it's, it's, it's any beer it is any beer there is punk ipa in the room and then it's a bit cheeky that there's then punk ipa in the shower but hey it's uh it's their flagship beer so sort of to be expected right breakfast yes come on then we forgot to mention this last night you can hire a brompton bike for free i'm not sure how good an idea that would have been last night but <laughs> definitely not good idea. Cool. I'm ready for this. Yes. What are you going to go for? You think you might get the full English? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm going to go for pancakes. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> look at yours, look how big it is. Yeah, look, look how that. big yours is. Three. Massive pancakes. <laughs> So yesterday we sort of forgot to mention this area here, which mm -hmm. is like the work area. And can't you get some like insane deal here? Yeah, I think it's like seven pounds. You can work all day, have unlimited coffee, refills, and um, get a pint at the end of the day. Who wouldn't want to work here? Did you enjoy your breakfast? Yes. It was good, wasn't it? Mm. I, uh, the only, my only criticism is that I asked for a flat white and they came out and it wasn't a flat white, but the, the woman serving it said it was. But that's being very pedantic. That's being very pedantic. Overall, I think the staff have been lovely. The service has been great. The food and beer has been top notch. And now we just need to pack up and go. Packing up. Which only means one thing. So technically, I've paid for five liters of this. So I'm gonna take five liters of this. This is coming home with me. This is coming home. Oh. Same goes for shower beer. Time to sign this bad boy out. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. But the sun has just come out, to be fair, so. So, how would you review the Doghouse Hotel by Brewdog? Oh, it's it's brilliant here. It's Everything has been thought through so well. Everything everything is beer related, which is just brilliant. Um, there's just beer around every corner, and the staff are the staff are lovely. Yeah, that, that is one thing I will say. Everyone that we've spoken to has been genuinely, like, lovely. Yeah. So, overall... I think we would do this again. It's quite expensive. Definitely. It is quite expensive. But for a treat weekend, do it. Yeah, if you can for a treat weekend. And I'd even say, like, go for the top dog package because it's so nice just, like, swanning around knowing that you've already paid for all your food and beer, basically. <laughs> yeah, we did feel sort of like dons, didn't we? Like, yeah, walking around and running. we top dogs. So this, it, this was John and Charlie's first ever review of something. It was a vlog, really, but it was kind of a review. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. How did that feel?
Yeah, pretty good. Let us know if you want to review anywhere else. Not too expensive, though. Yeah. We are not sponsored yet. Okay. <laughs> so, bye. Bye. <laughs>